Oh, snap. There's going to be a house here. <laughs> this is the back of your house. Okay. Your patio is going to come to here, and then, yeah, you'll have this here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, we have the keys. We're in the house. What a day we have. Appliances. Lay down. Okay, you don't want to be in it. Fine. Okay, is this real? Is this real? Is this mic on? Am I really about to say what I'm about to say? You guys, I bought a house. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so first off, I apologize. This video will share exactly why I have been so like inconsistent and struggling to keep my schedule going and that's because your girl bought a house. Not only bought a house, I freaking built. I got a house built for me which is absolutely insane. The process of this actually started from last year. I have been filming everything, but obviously I haven't announced it until after the fact. I don't know, I just kind of felt like I wanted to go through the process myself. It was really kind of like stressful. Not really stressful, but like I would say I was really, really anxious for this entire year because I didn't want to fumble the house. And so I just wanted to make sure everything was signed, sealed, delivered, had the keys in hand before I actually announced it. So. I am gonna go through story time and kind of catch y'all up, show y'all what I have been up to since last summer, 2022, and take y'all along the process of buying this lot and then building this house, getting the keys, all of the above. Oh my God. All right, so I actually have a album in my phone. with all of our home things, look at this. It's just content on content on content on like a year's worth of content over a year now at this point of the entire house process. It was actually the end of 2021 when I found out about this neighborhood. And then by early 2022, we started really having more serious conversations with the sales guy here. We went back and forth a lot of times then by July 2022, I was in there signing the contract. So. My first piece of content in here starts on July 13th, 2022 at 1.51 p.m. I signed the contract to this house. I took a couple pictures. I look real dusty and crusty, but um, we did it all virtually actually. A couple days later, we met up at my lot and put my sold sign on my little lot sign. Oh, snap. Yay. Yeah, that's dope. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, take a sip. <laughs> yep. It's so bubbly. Happy tears. There's going to be a house here. <laughs> it's actually so crazy going back through all this content because I'm sitting in a house talking to y'all right now that did not exist last year like i'm literally looking at the empty lot but i am sitting here right now less than a year later in this house it's so ah, it's crazy it's kind of making me a little emotional let me tell you what's crazy about new construction you are buying something that does not exist and it's not even just like oh you're prepaying for the new iphone that's launching soon you are prepaying for a six figure purchase for something that is not for a tangible asset that does not exist yet it does not exist and that tripped me out so many times they didn't have a model home that i could kind of walk through to even see to get the feel the vibe like the model home was a different model it wasn't my model that i wanted so literally i had no idea like how i knew how it would look because obviously they show you like the layout of your house and everything there's pictures there's like walkthrough and stuff but like that's all online that's all like a virtual thing there's no like tangible asset that you can go through and say yes i would like to purchase this please thank you 
crazy. It's actually a really, really crazy feeling. And to just see your money kind of going out of your account is actually insane. Moving right along. So we signed the contract July 13th. By November, they started really like clearing my lot and started, started the process of building this home. And the process of building a home, it's so crazy because these people are building this house for you and I literally had no idea what it took to build a home. What is the process to build a home? I don't, I don't know, I, don't, I, I had no idea. So what I did appreciate was that we did a walkthrough. So um, this is called the, like your, is it called a walkthrough? It was like the initial walkthrough meeting where your house is about to be built. You meet with a construction manager and they tell you all the steps. Okay. Cool. So like I said, we're going to talk about process, talk to you about, have you ever built a new home? Nope. First time. Cool. Really now until closing. If you need him, feel free to reach out to him, but I'm your guy. Okay. Um, I'm building your house and you guys basically had me until we close. Um, at that point, I'll officially transition you over to customer care, like our warranty department. Okay. Um, but I'll still be here if you need little things. The build process. So what we're doing right now is kind of a little bit different because we got what we talked about that sub wall mm -hmm. in your house. So they've got that formed up <clears throat> and it rang so they haven't poured it, but they'll pour that next. And then we'll do um, the box for your slab. So it's basically like the perimeter of the home. Okay. And then my plumbers will come in, they'll install all of their plumbing underground and then that's my first city inspection so okay bunch of inspections throughout the process has anyone else done like a pre-drywall independent inspection is yeah. that something i'd be able to do absolutely okay. absolutely will you let me know like at what point i should yeah like if i need if yes, i want to do that inspection you'll let me know when yes. the time is right okay yeah absolutely um basically when i've got confirmation when everybody will be done with their stuff i'll mm -hmm. let you know and that gives you a couple days to get someone scheduled and out oh, scheme number one so I'm pretty sure there's lots of whites, I have to pull it up. Whites and blacks, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and this is your elevation, so it's the one with all the brick. Mm -hmm. Shutters on your front window. You got, oh, this is a louvered vent, so it's like a fake vent. It, okay. It, it's real, but it doesn't actually open to the attic space. Oh. So you won't have burrs, nothing crazy like that getting in. Okay. I'm so happy about the seat in the shower. It's <laughs> such a little thing, but like, no. I love that. <laughs> They're basically going to pour this wall and then they will pour the slab, the, just the concrete on top, over to it. So that supports the house. Oh, okay. That's yeah. That's all it is. From the front, you're not going to really tell anything. This one even has a bit of a sub wall, the model. This is the back of your house. Okay. Your patio is going to come to here and then, yeah, you'll have this area for, for the dog. And for my process, they actually kept me up to date every single week. Every, from, from the time they started building the house, they called me every single Wednesday. Wednesday was my favorite day ever. I think the part that I was probably most stressed out about was not the house building process, but more so on the financial side. The loan, getting the mortgage and the proper pre-approval, um, and making sure that I wasn't going to fumble this house. And what I mean by fumbling the house, like they will go through this process, right? Uh, like you can go through this process, this entire process, put down your deposit, buy your lot, they build a house, to your customizations that you picked, you see it come to life. But if you, like in the process, either make huge purchases or get a bunch of new credit cards or any of these things, all those things are like red flags for lenders and they're gonna be like, uh-uh, you don't qualify anymore. And if you don't qualify for your loan anymore, honey, if you don't have the cash sitting down to be like, okay, cool, I'll pay for my house in cash, it's not yours anymore. The house is fumbled and they will refund you your deposit and boom, they're gonna go and sell it to somebody else. So that's like the kind of scary part. Like that's the part that I was anxious about. Financial side, a little stressful, but seeing this house built from scratch, nothing, I mean nothing, is like nothing can top that right now. This would obviously be garage. garage. Mom, we're in my garage. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. We are on our way to check on the progress of the house. What day is it? Today's March 25th. 
a Saturday. I've been dying to go all day. The sun is about to set soon-ish, but we're headed over to check. So we did check last night, um, yesterday. <laughs> so yes, I'm checking a day later. But um, the door trims are up. Uh, the fireplace mantle was up. What else is up? Um, the boxes for all of the cabinets were in the house as well. And they started putting the brick up on the house. So I just wanted to see what they were able to get done today because they've been working weekends and everything like overtime We've been there on a Sunday before thinking that nobody was gonna be there and they're working <laughs> So um, I'm excited. I love that she encourages me because I'd be like, let's just go back to the house like every single day And she's like, okay <laughs> Yeah, mom, they definitely did more for the brick. The brick guys do work on the weekend. We have tile. We have tile. Is this real life? I will say another thing that was beneficial to me throughout the new construction process was being able to kind of take my time because I knew I was getting a house now. So I was able to kind of take my time while it's being built to get some of the necessary things because girl let me tell you when you are moving and you're in the house now your stuff is here everything's in boxes and you just need stuff to live like your necessities i'm talking about plates utensils you need appliances you need to get a fridge you know um like necessities like that it's it, when you're in the moment like you're in the middle of moving you're just desperado so you're just like i'll just get those utensils whatever whatever but i was able to kind of take my time i got some really nice utensils from crate and barrel when they were on sale um and and i just took my time and got some necessities you know those big clear containers from target i had about two or three of those full of like items for the new house Plus a couple boxes here and there, some bags from Home Goods. Like, I really took my time. You know what else is funny? I dragged my parents at like furniture shopping as often as I possibly could whenever they would visit me. Like, this is us on May 4th, and I'm having them sit in every single couch in every single furniture that we go furniture store that we go to so they can help me pick a couch. And it's just, oh, I just love them so much. They're just here for it. Quick note, I forgot to mention this in the beginning. I do have a couple boundaries for this home buying process. So let me state my boundaries. I love that I'm getting to share this process with y'all, but I really am gonna be sharing it in my way. So before you ask me these things in the comments, one, I will never tell you who my builder is. Two, I am never going to show you guys the front, like a front picture of my house. And I guess, a third thing is that I'm not going to do like a full complete walkthrough and show you this is this is here, this is there, this is there, this is there, this is there, this is there. Um, I will likely do lots of my content on like a room by room basis, which you guys will end up seeing a lot of the house, but I just don't think it's necessary to share the entire like floor plan, like walk through the floor plan of my house. Um, and those really, those three boundaries are really just kind of my way of protecting my safety and my protecting myself, my way of giving myself a little security, okay? So please don't ask for my builder's name, don't ask for an empty house tour, um, but I will be giving you all the deeds on like empty room. We could do empty room tours and before and afters because I have all I have all of that filmed, all of that filmed for y'all already. So I really am excited to continue sharing this process with y'all. But I did want to make sure I state those three boundaries because it is for my safety. Boom. So where are we at now in terms of timeline? April second, I'm in here seeing you know we're looking at all the drywall inside, but then by April twelfth. They have my floors in. Is this real? Is this really my house? Is it? <laughs> Love lives here. Light lives here. Success lives here. Abundance lives here. God lives here. Peace lives here.
lots of measuring on our visits for like decor pieces like I want to get a mirror above the fireplace I have yet to find that perfect mirror well I found it it was too expensive and now it's not available on CB2 anymore so anyways um, still searching for that perfect mirror above my fireplace but then we were also measuring for my couch to make sure my couch will be perfect figuring out the configuration of my couch how do I want it to sit which way do I want the L to face like all that where's the TV gonna go is it gonna be a TV console underneath like all of that I was literally like my mom and I would spend some time in this construction zone of a house talking things through and planning stuff out and that was really, really so much fun. At this point, the house still didn't have any electricity. I think there was water, but there wasn't electricity at this time and it was dusty. I mean, whenever we used to leave, we would feel dust in our throat until like the next day. It was, ugh, it was not good. Every time we were like, we should wear a mask, but then we forget. <laughs> I think because I was so excited. I didn't close on the house and get the keys until June 21st, but on May 11th, baby, I found my bed. I am obsessed with this bed. You'll really probably get a lot more details of like specific like items, furniture pieces and all that on my Instagram and TikTok. So make sure y'all follow me on there. Um, but yeah, I found this bed in a like vintage kind of store. It's close to the CB2 out in the CB2. It's close to the Crate and Barrel outlet, which also has CB2 items, by the way, amazing. But it's like right around the corner. It's called Simple Fine. I think that's what the store is called but that's where i got this bed and it is gorgeous i became a fan of wood beds like on that day i feel like i started off really really well in this house as much as i i feel like it's a little chaotic and crazy in here we started off on a really good foot because i did all of that pre-work to buy stuff and it was just i absolutely recommend so by may 13th we go out there and i have cross i love my house so freaking much Yay! So this right here is where I learned that not all new construction builders do things the same. They're not all built the same. They don't operate the same. They don't offer the same things. Bianca was telling me um, at this time, as you guys know, she got a new construction home as well, but hers in LA did not come with any landscaping whatsoever. Here in Georgia, it's very typical with your builder to get grass and some landscaping in the front like they they make your house look really really nice on the outside including grass and like some cute little bushes and stuff in the front with a tree and everything so if you are watching this video and thinking like oh my gosh i want this i want to do new construction make sure you ask 500 questions it's very exciting to sit down with the salesperson and be like oh my god this is so cool i'm picking stuff for my house blah 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 you need to like read read everything try and just take the excitement out of it pause it park it for a little bit and ask multiple questions so definitely ask about electrical ask about landscaping and if that's included does your house have any unfinished spaces as well because my house did come with two unfinished spaces but yeah may 13th when i saw that grass super super excited um yeah right there we're really at the home stretch so Initially, I was actually given a closing date of June 7th. And so this is another thing that can happen with new construction. Delays come out of nowhere. I literally planned everything to a T in order to be ready for June 7th. And I was super, super excited. And then we came across a huge, huge delay. And you know what it was? It was not even in the hands of my builder. It wasn't in my hands at all. It was in the hands of my power company. They needed to, they do it like per house it looks like. So they bury your electrical cable per house um, and they just weren't coming. It's kind of frustrating because like I'm looking around at the house and there is everything else in here ready to go, but no electricity and therefore they were like okay well they have other houses to work on so i felt like my house was just kind of at a stall at that point because i think they were waiting for the electricity to put in my appliances and like the last little finishing touch things like screw in the led lights all those little little things um were kind of waiting on electrical uh but finally june 9th we have appliances we had a light in the house it was so exciting i was literally crying because at this point they had even taken off all the cardboard protection off of my hardwood floors and i was like shook that this is the first time i saw my house like this in person something that i purchased almost a year ago 
and I'm finally seeing it come to fruition and in person. So then after we got electrical, it really was just smooth sailing after that. I got my final inspector in. One thing I opted to do was to get a third party inspector to inspect at two times. So first I got him in here to do a pre drywall inspection. And then I got him to do a final inspection before I did like my final walkthrough with the builder. I absolutely recommend it. I think it's worth the money. I just feel like the builders have so much going on. They're building houses on houses over here. And you just wanna make sure that you have a third party who is not biased to me, also not biased to the builder to try and get things done on time and quickly for them. Um, he's third party and will just come in and just say what it is. He gave me so much information about caring for a house. And I think this was the day that I realized like, look, this is not just no like fancy, car purchase or like a nice new iPhone, like this is a freaking house and you have to learn about it. So I feel like this is where it was put into perspective for me, like the amount of responsibility you have as a homeowner to know these things and to not mess it up. So I got that third party inspection done and then the following day, I did my final walkthrough with the builder and that is probably, that is the most important walkthrough. That was another walkthrough that took about two to three hours and we combed through the entire house and whatever we eyeballed that was wrong, in addition to whatever came up on my third party report, that was the time to mention it to the builder and then they had a full week before closing in order to address all of those things. And that was it. So that was that was a really exciting walkthrough for me because I was like, shit, like it's actually finished now. Like apart from these one and two little things we need to do, it's finished. We are here and we have arrived. It's closing day and I'm emotional. <laughs> I just got an email saying welcome home with my new address. <laughs> All right, but we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta sign these papers. I sent my closing money yesterday. They said I received it. I think I was the most anxious about that. It's a lot of money to send and there's a lot of wire transfer fraud out. So I literally went into the bank physically to send it. So we're ready. It's bright and early in the morning, 7.30. Let's go to closing. Let's get these keys. We have arrived. So for you, if you've never closed on a house before, you'll be surprised to know you'd actually don't like get the keys like at your house you gotta go to like an office so i'm at the lawyer's office right now and this is where it's all happening i have one question is this real life <laughs> your second born baby of the family is buying her second property She's not even 30 yet. How do you feel? I have to be Speechless. So, so, so I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Congratulations. Already brought stuff to move in. We are ready to go. I am. I'm just so thankful. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Are you, what is happening? I have the keys. We're in the house. I'm moving in. All right, let's put on some music and let's do some stuff. Let's see. Come in. Okay, so it's the day after closing, and it's, I guess, day one of making this house a home. So, so far, I've mopped out floors, we have the dishwasher going, we're going to get some closet systems, closet systems, and then Home Depot's on the way to install appliances. So this is gonna look different really soon. The fridge is gonna be in there. And then I had to get a washer and dryer as well. 
So it's coming along, let me show you. Like stuff is everywhere. I have, I got some new bowls for her. She, I thought these were so cute. Home goods, y'all. Home goods, how cute. We got a lot going on, okay? Cause tomorrow's like the big move where we have movers coming in. They're gonna help me take all the big stuff. Cause I've low key already been shopping for the house for a while. And so I have like furniture pieces and all that. So tomorrow's like big move day. Moving all the stuff, all the products, all my clothes, everything into this house. It's a lot, there's a lot going on. We have these paper blinds up just for a few more days and then we have actual blinds coming in. It's a process, but it's happening, baby. The uh, fridge is gonna be already set at the recommended temperature. Okay. After 24 hours, you can mm. change it to whatever you want, but I suggest you just keep it. Just to leave it, keep okay. The recommended temperature. Mm -hmm. All right. oh, oh, oh. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay. What a day we have appliances. I think just for me to be able to have a place where it is fully me, I chose everything. This this house is a reflection of me, and it will. I get to decorate it as such. I get to put my creativity in that way. I feel like I'm growing up. I feel more like an adult than I ever have in my entire life. But in kind of. A good way kind of um, it's a lot of responsibility but in a good way I just feel like I'm growing up into a new and improved grown homeowner girl era in my life and it it feels really good it feels uncomfortable and that's why I've been struggling a little bit to stay on top of everything with work because I just feel like so much personal transformation is going on right now but just to be able to be in a space that is mine, it gets to be mine, no one can tell me to go anywhere, like is amazing. I don't have any plans of leaving here anytime soon, moving anywhere anytime soon, which is great. It was so beautiful to have George visit. He hadn't visited Atlanta in a really long time, so to have him here and to help with like moving and all that, and we just, it's just like a really, really special moment. We were also celebrating four years of being together. Now, where we're at right now, um, I think I'm gonna do a separate video and give y'all an update because I feel like this video has probably gone on long enough, but I really wanted to do this and kind of bring y'all up to speed on like the last year and entire process of this home up to now. Um, I have made a little bit of progress in the house in terms of closets. I have started on my beauty room, my bedroom's coming together, the living room, I'm waiting on my couch, but I got my rug in from Ruggable. Um, my office is set up right now. It's not decorated or anything, but it's at least set up. We have a ton of packages to unbox as well. Um, so I'm really, really just excited to continue to take y'all along this process of really making my house a home. I wanna try and come up with like a cute name. I don't know, like the cute name of the house or like a cute name of a series on here. If you guys have any ideas for like what the series name or like what my house name, I don't know what, what those names could be. Just comment below because I am open to any and all ideas. But yeah, guys, I think going forward, what we can expect from me, I might be exploring vlogging a little bit more um, to give y'all a full, more well-rounded version of lifestyle content. Not to say that I'm not creating hair content because I definitely, absolutely will still be coming through with the hair content, but I want to experiment with some vlogs here and there, see how you guys feel about that. I hope you enjoy it because the vlogs, I think what's good about them is that they can encompass everything. Like house updates, it can encompass like hair, whatever I'm doing with my hair, um, fashion, shopping, beauty, like all the things I love, dog mom life, um, going out with the girls, all that stuff. I just think that we could roll into some really cute vlogs. So let me know what y'all think about the vlog situation as well. If you guys have any specific questions, any special video requests, let me know in the comments below. I also have a special link in the description box if you have specific content requests. Like if you want a video about X, you can put that there and I will be quicker to see it there than in any comments on all my platforms, honestly. As always, thank you guys so much for your continued love and your support because I literally would not be here without y'all. So please know that I love you and I wanna continue coming through and providing value for you over here and just continue building a dope community 
on this platform like initially we started out here with me exploring my hair journey and now I just feel like I'm blossoming into another like evolved version of myself and it just feels really good that maybe we can kind of do all that together thanks so much for watching i will catch y'all in the next one i'm about to be getting consistent again y'all i promise bye